You'll be seeing stories comparing the career arcs of Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota for as long as the top two picks in 2015 play in the NFL. Hopefully this is the first story you'll see attempting to separate the pair from a fantasy perspective as they enter year two. Both are coming off wildly successful debut campaigns, albeit each containing unsurprising rookie growing pains. Winston's inconsistent ball placement and Mariota's durability being the chief concerns. But among a host of intriguing passers threatening to crash the QB1 conversation, how do they measure up against the field and each other? Hi, I'm Arthur Ruckish with Pro Football Weekly, here to offer clarity on which second-year quarterback is the better fantasy asset in 2016. Number 5, Weaponry. Jameis Winston has two inviting playmakers at receiver, Mike Evans and Vincent Jackson, and the NFL's second leading rusher in Doug Martin. All three are established, though Evans is still scratching the surface of superstardom. Jackson must prove an injury marred 11th season wasn't the start of his descent, and Doug Martin must prove he can stay healthy after getting paid. Mariota has a lackluster receiving core, on which fifth rounder Tajay Sharp might start. That obviously doesn't bode well for Justin Hunter and Kendall Wright. Doyle Green Beckham is the Mike Evans mold, but lacks polish. Delaney Walker is a late-blooming stud at tight end and Mariota's best resource. We like Rashard Matthews, but we'll see what he does in new surroundings. Both franchises have placed major resources in rebuilding their quarterback's front walls, but the Bucks figure to be slightly ahead of the Titans in terms of continuity. Number 4, System. We purposely left off Tennessee's shiny new backfield in the previous category because Mike Malarkey's offense might lead the NFL in carries behind DeMarco Murray and Derrick Henry, a powerful tandem capable of executing their coach's exotic smash mouth vision. We just love saying exotic smash mouth even if we struggle to do so. While that should bode well to limit Mariota's exposure, after he missed four contests with knee injuries, it'll also diminish his throwing chances. Conversely, Dirk Cutter let it rip with Winston when he was a rookie, and has promised to continue loosening the reins on his gifted downfield thrower and bright football mind. Look for even more vertical and up-tempo elements in an already fantasy-friendly attack that ranked 5th in yardage but just 20th in scoring. Remember, Tampa replaced Lovey Smith with Cutter, largely because of the former OC's rapport with Winston, so the continuity is a major plus. Number 3 Schedule On paper, Winston's Bucks have the tougher slate, drawing the rugged AFC and NFC West defenses plus an improving Bears club. The Titans get the AFC West and NFC North in addition to bottom-feeding Miami and Cleveland. It's worth noting Mariota hosts Denver, then travels to the Chiefs and Jaguars for fantasy playoffs, whereas Winston gets the Cowboys sandwiched between two meetings with the lowly Saints. Thus, Tampa Bay gets relief when all the chips are pushed in late, but it doesn't offset the murderer's row from weeks 2 through 5 at Arizona versus St. Louis versus Denver and at Carolina. Number 2, Tools. Mariota might never do it again, but Winston will never run 87 yards for a score in the NFL, period. An illustration of the dazzling acceleration, long speed, and run instincts the Titans dual threat passer boasts, which will always leave fantasy owners frothing at the mouth. But many don't realize Winston found the end zone six times with his legs, which trailed only MVP Cam Newton among NFL quarterbacks. It's a small but encouraging sample size of the strength Winston flashes as a short yardage runner. And while we won't say Mariota will never develop Winston's surprisingly advanced football IQ, there's a little question who's further along in going through his progressions and reading defenses, and the extra freedom it allowed the Bucks to grant Winston last year. Both QBs have plenty of arm talent, though Winston has a stronger one and showed an improvability to decide when and where to fit balls into as the season progressed. Number 1. The Verdict Winston gained more experience in year 1. He resides in a better fantasy environment heading into year 2. Perhaps his inferior athleticism to Mariota's makes his upside slightly lower long term, but we prefer the Buccaneers signal caller to Tennessee's for fantasy purposes in 2016. Should either be entrusted as a plug-and-play quarterback one? Not yet, but after Derek Carr and Tyrod Taylor, Winston is the passer I'm targeting as a backup who could easily become a starting commodity early in year two. The winston Mariota debate will rage on, but we're signing off on this topic for now. Did you like today's game plan? We'd love it if you let us know in the comments and by liking and sharing. I'm Arthur Arkish, and thanks for choosing Pro Football Weekly for all your fantasy football needs.